Well, when in Kochi, you have to try one of the oldest and traditional techniques for fishing. This is the Chinese fishing net, a technique that was introduced 700 years ago. So let me go and see what I have grabbed for lunch this afternoon. Morning from Cochin International Airport. It's well, about 8 o'clock in the morning. And if to go early morning flights are very good because you get the entire day to explore a new city. There are many people who have come to explore Kerala. And why not? Because Kochi is the queen of the Arabian Sea and a gateway to Kerala. I will tell you that this airport is the most important thing that it is very beautiful to see. It is also very technologically advanced. By which I mean, this is the most important airport that is fully solar powered. है. Yes, you heard it right. It's the world's first solar powered airport. और क्या क्या फर्स्ट है यहाँ? चलो पता करते हैं। I think Kerala is a great place for a family vacation. और जब भी मैं confused होती हूँ about how to go about my hotel bookings and everything else. I rely on Agoda because Agoda has a great range of hotels and accommodations for families and groups looking to travel. Not just hotels, you will get Agoda home properties. Ke bhi kahi sare options milenge. In fact, the app allows you to also book activities. All travel needs in one app. You all know how big a foodie I am. So, hotel check-in, I have come to the Muruga Cafe. So, I have a very authentic breakfast here. Now, we eat standard breakfast like idli, sambar, dosa, chutney. But now, we have come here. So, let's try what we eat here. So, you can see that the food is This place was discovered by two truck drivers who had reached very late. Restaurant में सब कुछ खत्म हो गया, बस सिर्फ पारंपरिक और beef curry बचा था. But ये combination खाकर इतना मजा आ गया कि तब से it's become a hot selling dish here. Looks yum. The appam here melts in your mouth and goes perfect with my favorite kadala curry. Wow, so that was a very very good breakfast or good breakfast ke alawa kafi sasta sa bhi tha. I have only paid 130 rupees for this lavish breakfast that I had. Appam here is only for 8 rupees. Parampari one piece is only for 12 rupees and the kadala curry only for 30 bucks. Matlab, wow. Brunton Boatyard, an amazing view of the waterfront that it offers. Along with that, it's a great representation of the architectural splendor of Fort Kochi's colonial past. And the best thing is that this is so beautiful and that this is perfect for your family vacation. Ke liye ye perfect spot hai. Best part, kids under 7 can stay for free here. Well, after that short break, it's time to resume exploring Kochi yet again. Let's go. Well, so this is pretty much the heart of Kochi, a neighborhood called Fort Kochi. I was looking a structure rahi, which would be the fort. But to my surprise, this whole neighborhood is called Fort Kochi. And the colonial architecture here is a mixture of Dutch, Portuguese, as well as the British architecture. All three once ruled this city. The 
90% of colonial history is all around as you take a tour of the historic Fort Cochin area. Its roots and essence are unique in its diversity. So, I am going to Vasco da Gama Square and you are watching this is one of the most photographed sites of Kochi. In fact, these Chinese fishing nets have become a representation of Kochi on a tourist map. So, in the past, this huge fishing net was used for fishing. Today, we have used it as But mostly, it has become a tourist attraction. I am also going to go and try this. This is Chinnawala or Chinese fishing nets. These fishing nets were established on the Kochi shores between 1350 and 1450 AD. This net is in the water and then slowly these ropes are in the water. Hi James. Yes. <laughs> what this are we going to do now? Yes. This one actually is called Okay. But why telling the Chinese fishing net hmm. is introducing from China. Okay. This designing, technology, construction, the counterbalance and development is complete. Right. Portuguese technology is also. Oh, it's very old. How many years yes, old? Yes, 30, 14 century, 700 years old. Oh my God. This technology. Okay. okay. But this would guarantee only 6 years, 7 years, then after complete the change. I am after the 40 years ago working here. Oh, 40 years. So you, you are a very experienced fisherman, I must say. Okay, let's try this. this yeah? Side? Yeah? You want to see the demonstration? Yes. The Telenor. Thank you. Wow, this was so much fun. Well, I tried my luck, but looks like it isn't my day. Actually, this isn't the best season for fishing. January and February are the peak seasons for fishing. So do plan your trip with your family around that time. But as a tourist, when you come here, this activity will be a lot oldest European built church in India which was in the year 1504. St. Francis Church is the church where the Portuguese explorer and trader Vasco da Gama ki body ko bari kiya tha in the year 1524. And from now on, many people come here to pray. After the Portuguese, this church was rebuilt by the British as well. The interiors represent Indo-European architecture with a wooden roof and stone flooring. So, up I came to Jew Town in 1950s. This used to be a bustling and a vibrant neighborhood of over 3,000 Jews living here. But today, only a handful of elderly Jews still live in the city of Kochi, representing the rich history of coexistence that has left his mark. In fact, it's Poli Jew Street for Aku Kaisare handicrafts or antiques milenge. And just by the corner of the Jew Town, you will also see a Paradesi synagogue. Let's go and check that out. Wow, so the Jew town and in fact this particular street has got a different vibe to itself. And there, that's where the synagogue is. Pardesi is because this town has ruled in this town. The synagogue displays rare antique objects that add to the grandeur of the place. These glass chandeliers are imported from Belgium in the 19th century. And these ceramic tiles in the 18th century were a renowned Jewish businessman from China. Se laye the. There are two gold crowns presented to the Jewish community by the kings of Kochi and Travancore are also kept here. There is also an oriental rug gifted to the Jews by the last Ethiopian European is also kept in the synagogue. Wow, 
sunsets in Kochi are truly magical. A lot of people go to Marine Drive to enjoy this or even Fort Kochi Beach is one of the most popular destinations. I am just enjoying a very beautiful seaside charm enjoy kar rahi as the sun is setting. Well, din bhar ki thakan ke baad, all I want to do is indulge in some authentic seafood. So, I have come to Hotel Seagull, mein, which is Fort Kochi's iconic waterfront rest of bar. These locals as well as tourists are very popular. Hai. As you sit here by the shore, listening to the sound of little waves, watching the quiet reflections of the moon in water, sipping your favorite drink, you will never think of leaving this place. Yahan ka food is so delicious, hai. it presents you the rich traditions of bygone era along with the taste of local flavours. Wow, it's so peaceful, I can't even imagine a city like Kochi can be this peaceful and calm as well. I hope you have fun with me with Kochi. Ghumne mein maza aaya. So you too plan a trip soon with your family. Until next time, it's me Kamya Jani signing off.